Why, what it is, what it do. This your boy, Uncle Funk. I give you what you want, a.k.a. Funk Dog Exclusive. What it is, what it do. You know where it is. I'm out here in the wine or alley, you know, kicking it with my homeboy, KT, a.k.a. They call him Big Thirsty, you know. Huh? But me and KT, we go back, you know what I'm talking about? You know, that's how we getting out here, you know what I'm saying? Ratchet City, baby. That's how we rocking with Miss Renee. What's up? I'll be getting some hotness ready. Yeah. <laughs> Who let that guy in here with a camera? Security breach. Double assassinators to all stations. Sound clashes in the making. Monkey head sound boy with a contest style. Double assassinators. Dub to the best. Because I am dub. Rifle Ruler! Okay. Alright, yeah, never mind the pink noise. You are inside the Wino Alley. This is Big Thirsty, King Tedros the Emperor. I'm right here doing another episode of Inside the Wino Alley. Welcome to Wino Alley Studios. I have some special guests in the house today. I've got the Honorable Reverend. Deco Malley, DJ right here from the Moortown area of Shreveport, Louisiana. Yes, yes, we are cooking up gumbo weekly, and this is your weekly dose of that gumbo, brought to you by the host with the most that's going to give you the hot butter on your toast, better known as Big Thirsty or King Tedros. That is me, I am he. All right, Deco Malley in the studio, take one. That's it, that's all. <laughs> oh, little girl, stop world, little girl, and I make you stop world. I make you stop world, little girl, and I make you stop world. Well, it's about time, cause I've been waiting on a sign. Well, it's about time, I like that swag in your walk, and those pretty eyes threw me for a loop, you threw me for a loop. Mixed up world. In a mixed up world, mixed up world, I can tell it's your very first time, I can tell it's your very first time, yeah, gimme gimme, like that. Yeah, so this is Big Thirsty. I'm inside the Wino Alley. I'm the Insane Asylum, uh, the Dub Engineer Station, um, the Lighthouse, uh, whatever you want to say. But anyway, uh, I'm right here with Deco Malley, Poncho, Bay, and so um, we're about to get. So what's first of all, what's going on up in here? How y'all feeling today? Oh, it's a good, man. Good, man. Yeah. 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 That's ugly, man. That's ugly, ain't it? That ain't what it's supposed to be. Nigga, I'm supposed to be living like that, there, right? Man. Right. So what's right. going on, right? So All right. Simple. Cool. So yeah, we here for the making of her very first time. Yeah. Deco Malley back in the studio again. Uh, you know, we gonna we we I know we've been told y'all we gonna get some sneak peeks and and we gonna do that, but uh, right now. Uh, we're going to cut this camera off, get back to what we need that's going to be worthy enough to give y'all a sneak peek of it. Because, you know, when we send it out, we're going to send it out right. 
right? Yeah. Okay, you could, but if you were ready, if I wanted you to go, you can go, you can come do it tonight if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, let's do it. I will call you one day when you're better, I'll call you. Most definitely. Yeah. Hang out in the studio for a little bit. Okay. Talk business. You know, when I graduate, I'm going back to school. Yeah, aeronautical business. Going for the business section. Yeah, I love you. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm with my partner. We, we, we was at the little wing place when the Buffalo Wild Wing first opened up. Remember that spot opened up? Yeah, that's him. That's the one we, we just talking about you. You show and you call. All right. All right. We are back. And another long. For another session of uh, Inside the Wild OL, I'm right here with Poncho, Good Lil B. Have to cast around me, don't know. And um, uh, have to cast around me. The topic for the day is uh, have to cast around me, don't know. Free for Louisiana. Have to cast around me, Free for Inside the Wino Alley. We got our uh, big poncho right here. Goodwill Beats. And uh, hey, we're keeping it natural. We're keeping it raw. Keeping it real. And we will be back next week with another session of Inside the Wino Alley. A.K.A. The Insane Asylum. Discussing the um, mastering and the uh, schools of thoughts of if you made the track, can you master the track? We're going over the 720 of that situation while we sit here funky with some stuff right now. So anyway, what you what you think about the whole thing, man? Can you make a track and master the track? Do I believe you can? Yes, if you have that proper equipment. However, some of the mastering companies have equipment that specializes specifically just on mastering. Mm -hmm. And it's very expensive equipment. A lot of times you want to just get a really good mix at yeah. the studio you go to and then send it off for mastering. That's the best way to do it. Do we y'all want to drink? I mean, you gonna stick it right quick. That's exactly what it wanna be. Okay, so what qualifies you to even have an opinion on this, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, why, why we care what you think? You right, that's <laughs> a good point, man. You know, um, I guess really because you asked me and you licensed me to give my opinion, but I do have some credentials in the game. About uh, 20 years now. I do right. have some sellable quality things that are on sale y'all can get them on ebay mm -hmm. all of them what all the stuff online is available or just go to fatalimageentertainment.com um that, that qualifies me so I basically work. what i was trying to establish is that this artist right here has spent some money in the past so he can he's qualified to give us his opinion on 
where his money was spent in a good place, where 